Hello, I'm Kate James. I'm a cataloger and a former member of the RDA Steering Committee. This is a video on doing a glossary search in the new RDA toolkit. If you're unfamiliar with all the different search types that you can do, please first check out the video I've done on searching in the RDA toolkit. It'll explain about doing an all search, an RDA only search, exact title search, etc. So this is just a short one about searching in the glossary. You might be wondering, why do I just want to search in the glossary? Well, let's say I've been talking to somebody and they mention an element name and I want to go look it up and just find out what it is really quick. But um, I don't want to do an all search because that's going to give me a lot of hits and I don't want to go through them all and I don't want to read the whole instruction page. I just want the definition. The glossary search uh, is a keyword search, so you can either just uh, put in terms and it'll assume an and between the words, or you can do um, a search in quotation marks to find the phrase. So let's say I do As you can see, it found everywhere um, in the glossary where date and publication appear together, even if it wasn't that exact phrase. Now, note the difference between that and if I do date of publication, which is the name of an element. So. Not a big difference in the number of hits, but now it's only finding where the phrase date of publication appears. This is the one that I was interested in finding out about. So if I click on that hit, it will take me right to this glossary term, which is highlighted from the search results. And I can read the definition. That's it. Um, the only other thing um, you might want to know about glossary searches is if you don't remember the name of an element um, in the new toolkit that you know was renamed from the original toolkit, you can find it through the glossary. Like, let me do this search for form of work, which I know is called something different in the new toolkit, but I don't remember what and go to the glossary. Um, see, I get two hits. I'll show you form of work. It says C category of work. If I click on that, I get the definition for this element. So that was an easy way to um, redirect me to the new element name if I've forgotten that. That's all I have to say about glossary searching. Thank you for watching. Bye.